I'm like low key checking out his collection. Respect. I'm a bird, mother. I'm a bird. Concord is dead. Sony removing the game and giving refunds. Hmm. We knew this game is gonna flop, but I genuinely didn't expect them to just Dano snap on Concord. I just didn't expect that. I don't know why. I I thought they there's no way they'll have the balls for that. Folks, I I know I already made a video today. But this is huge breaking news. This just happened. I'm going to try to wait a little bit to upload it so that the other video doesn't completely bomb or whatever. Be sure to check out the Star Wars Outlaws video that I uploaded a little while ago. But we have breaking news about Concord. And this is huge. This is unprecedented. And this is absolutely insane. Sony's blog just put out an important update on Concord. This is coming to us from Ryan Ellis, game director of Firewalk Studio. Concord fans, we've been listening closely to your feedback since the launch of Concord on PS5 and PC. I want to thank everyone all 25,000 of you who have joined the journey aboard the North Star. Your support and passionate community that has grown around the game has meant the world to us. However, while many qualities of the experience resonated with players, we also recognize that other aspects of our game and our initial launch didn't land the way we intended. Therefore, at this time, we have decided to take the game offline beginning September okay. 6th and explore options, including those that will reach that will better reach our players. With uh, While we... Look, if they would have been smart about it when they initially have gotten the feedback that these characters are honestly ugly, the gameplay seems repetitive, they should have already went into action rather than act defensively. Just sounds like such a weak ass piss poor statement. Mm -hmm. It's and and also hints towards like, in my opinion, like they might go free to play with a lot of changes. In the best path ahead, Concord will sales will cease immediately and we will begin to offer a full refund for all gamers who have purchased the game for PS5 or PC. If you purchase the game for PlayStation 5 from the PlayStation Store or PlayStation Direct, a refund will be issued back to your original payment method. Customers who purchased from other digital storefronts will also be refunded. And then they go into kind of how you're going to get refunded with this. At least they're refunding it. Yeah, this is something they're ready different. It's something better than the team behind the crew. And that's it, dude. That is it. So they are pulling the game already. Th this is holy shit. This game allegedly cost $250 million to make. Eight years of time. Herman Hulse it doesn't came look along like it. and said, it hey, doesn't. this game is really good. We got to buy Firewalk. I want this really exclusive generic. on PlayStation. How are they justifying eight years for a game like this? I kept on thinking about it. What about it can you justify eight years and such a huge budget? And I cannot come up with an answer besides all this time was consumed by consultancy agents with them saying they're doing research with them honestly just sitting on Twitter. Five, you're leader of PlayStation right now. Signed off on this game that has been literally the biggest flop in the entire world. This is unprecedented. A $40 game based on online multiplayer, a hero shooter with all brand new heroes that nobody cared about. And this just goes to show you, once again, I literally made a video yesterday talking about this video game crash. And when you have a $250 million investment, eight years of dedication and you know creation mm -hmm. of this game, and it's all just wasted, completely gone. Because I think we all know what's going to happen with Concord after it goes offline. They're essentially going to do their refunds. People are going to get their money back. And probably in a couple of months, it's going to launch as a free-to-play model. And honestly, I don't think that's good enough now. You it see, there's, there's this thing that a lot of the... Like, RGT is, is completely right about that. It. It's absolutely not good enough. It really isn't. Especially with that amount of uh, funds that they were given to. It just can't justify anything. Well, if it goes free to play, will people play it? Yes, 100%. Free to play yeah. game, everyone will try it. Maybe even we will try it if it goes mm -hmm. free to play. It will never be a great game. Suits 
within the video game industry don't understand. There's a thing called optics. And when you are charging money for something and then you decide to make it free to play, like that's a death sentence. There are other games that have done that. Of course, something like Foam Stars went into um, PlayStation Plus where you could play it for free without having to purchase the game. Think about Destruction Derby All-Stars. This was once again another multiplayer game that Sony came up with and they were like, oh, this is going to be a big hit. And of course it wasn't. So they ended up making the game a PlayStation Plus exclusive sort of thing where if you had their online service, you would be able to play this game for free. But losing $250 million in eight like I'm so distracted with watching at how like the game looks. It just looks so boring. Like I've seen this video before, like the 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 cutscenes, the gameplay, and every time I just forget about it completely. Yeah. Like I go to bed, I wake up, I I forget about the Concord existence. Instantaneously. How are you gonna sit there and tell me that there's not a video game crash happening? This character was the only one where I'm like. Maybe. Maybe. That looks okay. There was, I the design is god awful. Meme potential, though, like, you know, playing as a trash can. Definitely meme potential for Being sure. A trash main. Video game crash butter. happening. The problem is, these companies don't understand why other games that are similar are successful and they try to emulate the success of other games within Wait. this realm a game like overwatch but overwatch had something to it it was different it was unique when it first came out but with these long development cycles of these games eight years I roughly mean, be... to make a game like concord and then the game comes out and it's outdated it doesn't do anything different it doesn't hit with an audience and you try to charge money for this like you're going to be screwed and who's going to be affected by this is it going to be the ceos is it going to be the high this is literally anna's from overwatch gun i'm looking at the gun right did buy this is it going to be the CEO? Look, even like everything about the gun looks like anna's gun even even the character is it going to be the yeah. ceo it, it's just like a poorer version of anna from overwatch is this going to be the higher up people no all the all even the scope, animation, and speed is like Anna. Even this scene. Yep. All the blame is going to go to the development team. Because they're Bro. the ones who did what they were told to do. They were told to make a game in this sort of style. People are going to bring up the whole DEI sort of thing with the interesting cast of characters and say, that's why this game failed. I mean, I, I really don't think it did. Did it play a role? Probably a minuscule role. But I think the bigger factor is... It's taking away all of the sort of, you know, stuff to assimilate with the characters and, you know, put them in these pigeonholes or whatever. I think it just made for very uninteresting characters. There weren't characters that people really cared about and trying to implement, you know, uh, cutscenes to flesh out a game, to flesh out the story in a multiplayer game yeah, just so seems really freaking strange yep. to me and once again it has worked for other games but all what's good for the goose isn't good for the gander and this is a huge flop by sony yeah this is legit like we have an anna at home we have a mccree at home it, it's just so bad and the fact that part of their marketing and spokespeople saying was like oh we're bringing in diversity it's like Everyone who plays Overwatch will probably go, hold up, hold my beer. <laughs> Honestly? <laughs> like, are you lost, baby girl? <laughs> like, what the, <laughs> what do you mean? Do you find you bringing diversity? <laughs> it's just the stupidest thing I've heard. Like, everything in every single retrospect that Concord did, the marketing, the development, the, how much finances they use, how long they develop. It's just all of it is just so piss poor. This this makes Star Wars Outlaws look like the biggest success in the world. Literally taking the game offline on September 6th. So this is September 3rd right now. So you have three more days to play this game. It's almost like, well, what's the point? What's the point? Go ahead and pull it now. Nobody's playing the game. You're hitting like 100 concurrent players right now on Steam. Just go ahead and pull the game now. You try to capitalize. And the, the crazy thing is, think of all the games. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
<laughs> the pimp slap. <laughs> we have Hellboy at home. <laughs> so bad. That Sony didn't go through with. And then this game got greenlit. Days Gone 2 didn't get greenlit. Uh, uh, Last of Us Factions Part 2 didn't get greenlit. But this slop did. This did. And this is the bigger overarching story with the video. These studios are so out of touch. Holy hell. With all these layoff, layoffs happening in the studios, them laying off the QAs and developers is the stupidest thing as well. They need to lay off their consultancies and the higher ups who decide which project to green light. Because those are the people who are actually responsible for these games being shit. Video game industry, there is a serious disconnect with a lot of companies when it comes to their consumer base and their player base and what their gamers actually want. And all because Helldivers 2 is a success, because I mean, that game did extremely well, doesn't necessarily mean you've got your finger on the pulse of these live service games. There's only so many live service games that people can handle. There's only so many live service games that people can dedicate time to, because you do have to put a lot of time into these games to understand the meta of the different characters, the layouts of the levels and stuff like that. It's not something like a Call of Duty where you could just kind of jump into it and play it willy nilly. This is obviously geared for a more competitive audience, but you don't have anything for the competitive audience to play here. You don't yeah. have any sort of mechanic yep. that makes things interesting or makes things unique or makes people want to pay $40 when there are games that do the exact same thing for free. Man, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I'm like low-key checking out his collection respect easy i have never in 39 years of uh, lawbreakers lasted longer than this there's literally no online big budget game that has ever lasted this short amount of time and for it to be a first party sony game with concord man Oh, man, like Astrobot's going to do great. You know, I think Astrobot's going to sell really well. And Sony, you know, they're, they're going to rebound from this. But you can only make so many mistakes and so many miscalculations before it really starts to hurt. What and I think $250 million. <laughs> you what see, the fuck this was that? Look, out of respect, I'm trying not to laugh. But every time Zen goes, what the hell with that? I'm like literally holding myself back from laughing. This is the whole thing. You tried to appease your investors with a game like this because you're like, oh, well, we can make money on this and we could do potentially multi, uh, you know, um, uh, transactions, micro transactions, and we could add in new characters and do season passes. So you tried to hype up your, your, your shareholders with this. But the shareholders are going to be asking some questions such as where the hell did all this money and development go that was in this game that you wasted that Herman Holst signed off on and was like, we need this game to come out only on PlayStation. This is a banger, <laughs> man. <laughs> Holy shit. Fuck? Did you play Concord? I didn't play Concord because I had no reason to play Concord. But if you did, give me your thoughts. Are you sad that the game is going offline no. and will probably come back as a free to play game? Is that going to be enough incentive for you to want to check out this game? Because it's not enough incentive for me. By the time this comes out, COD will already be out. Me and the boys will be on there playing. Space Marine is going to be out. Space Marine, Path Exiles 2. I think we're set until the end of the yeah yeah we already well, have so much grinding to do yeah space marines 2 seems like there's gonna be grinding in it which i'm okay with I, i'm okay i'm okay with grindy games i i mean i played ragnarok online one of the grindiest games ever